Chris Lee here for IMY Blocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Claymore's Dual Ethereum Miner version 9. So let's open up the uh, browser. I've already got it on the Bitcoin Talk uh, forum page, and we're going to be looking at version 9. So this has got some extra uh, options that have been added to it. So the main uh, benefit is this assembler GPU kernels. So you can just turn that on via a switch uh, in your batch file or your config file and that should allow you for you to either get better performance when Ethereum or Ethereum and Decreed mining. Um, or the other flip side of that is uh, if you're not getting better performance then you should be lowering your power usage. Um, so I'm going to be taking a look at that in this video and uh, sharing you my experience uh, with it and um, hopefully you can use this to, to increase your performance or reduce your electricity and get the best performance from your hardware. So let's, uh, sorry, just on the actual uh, forum thread here, uh, to make you aware, the Google link, I tried that, it didn't actually work for me, so I used the mega link and I was able to download the version 9 using that. Uh, one other also thing to mention as well is my antivirus picked up the version 9 and didn't really like it at all. It kept on being flagged as a virus and then get uh, sent to quarantine and I had to restore it and it's a, a real pain. So just to make you aware of those two issues before you get started. Uh, once you actually download it and um, extract it from the zip file like you normally would, it's it's pretty much plain sailing uh, from there, fairly normal. So let me just show you, I've got the version 7 running, so it's currently using Ethereum and Decreed mode. Uh, the default intensity is uh, 30, so that's just what I'm using now. And we're getting uh, 44.5 mega hashes on Ethereum, and uh, it was around 6, 660, 670 mega hashes on uh, Decreed, so that's in dual uh, mining mode. Uh, I also recorded the actual power usage, and um, someone asked for that in the comments, so if you have any questions or comments um, or feedback to let me know, then, then ask for it and I'll, I'll try and include that in future videos. So version 7 dual Ethereum and Decreed mining mode was 379 watts, and the graphics cards that I'm using in this machine is two uh, Sapphire RX 470s, and they've both been BIOS modded. Um, so just to give you a, a few of the system specs there. So you can see those results with version 7, that's what I've been using all the time, nice and stable and doesn't really give me too much bother. So let's close that and we'll take a look at version 9 in comparison. So I'll open up the actual batch file just to show you what the difference is. So all this part is the same in version 7, then just on the end we've got this extra switch. So it's hyphen ASM space one and that just turns on the assembler mining mode um, you can also change it so if you have um, one GPU uh, sorry multiple GPUs you could do it like this so the first GPU would be running in non ASM mode the second GPU would be running in ASM mode and the third GPU would be running uh, in non ASM mode um, but for most people you probably just want to turn that switch on and have it one equals on so you can close and uh, save and close that batch file and that makes it run in ASM mode. So now we're going to start up the version 9 miner in dual Ethereum and Decreed mining. So you can see it has GPU 0, algorithm ASM, GPU 1, algorithm ASM. That's what you want to be looking for when the miner first starts up. That lets you know that you're using the, the correct miner in the correct mode. So by default the intensity starts at 30 uh, for this miner and you can see the Ethereum miner starts off, the Ethereum mining part of it starts off quite slow uh, 38, 36, uh, the decrease is much higher um, I did a little bit of testing previous to this video and found that if I reduce the intensity to 15 um, that would kind of get me the best uh, performance uh, for the both uh, algorithms combined So. I'll just give that a minute to update and then I'll share those uh, results with you um, in comparison to the version 7. Okay so that's picking up now, it's been running for about a minute. So you can now see that we're on the Ethereum we're getting 46 uh, thereabouts and on Decreed it's 690 so just a slight performance increase and really not not massive about of uh, an increase there. Uh, power usage I checked earlier and we're now using slightly more power at 383 watts 
but really that's only four watts difference to the previous uh, test, um, and really that can you know that that's like a, a non-number. It's not it's not a big enough difference uh, for a good comparison. It could just as easily be the uh, CPUs running you know a, a percent more or something like that. So that's the difference. So I'm not really noticing a significant difference. Uh, but I wanted to share it uh, with you guys so you can sort of um, get started with this uh, updated miner and hopefully get better performance or better efficiency uh, from the miner itself. One other thing I did notice while uh, doing a little bit of uh, testing with this is that I need to do some more testing on my own machine because I discovered that whilst using the Ethereum and Decreed mode, um, the both of my actual graphics cards actually throttle themselves um, and I never knew used to get that when I was just uh, Ethereum mining, solo Ethereum mining mode. Um, so that's something that I need to look at myself, but I'll just share that with you quickly. So you can see on this uh, GPU, uh, which is actually the second GPU, uh, we're getting slightly under a thousand, uh, sorry, 850 megahertz is the core clock, but it's actually set to 1100, so that's quite a big bit less. Um, also on the GPU one, which is one that I normally have the power limit set to 25 as well, so that should really uh, be running, you know, maxed out uh, and not throttling. Um, and also noticed that that was kind of like quite uh, being throttled at certain sort of points as well as. So that's something that I need to sort of uh, tweak on the side. Really, not really anything to do with the miner as such. That's more just um, graphics cards and general sort of uh, tweaking there. Okay guys, so I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions or comments, then leave those in the comments area below. If you like this kind of video, make sure you like and subscribe to see more of this uh, type of content. And I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.